I've just woken up, so let's see what time it is. Oh, it's 3.55. Better go back to sleep. I'm really hot, so I'm going to go and turn the heating off. Because I often wake up in the night literally sweltering. So let's go do that. And then hopefully I can get some more hours before work. <laughs> I've soothed my alarm about four times, everyone. And it's now at 7.10, so I really have to get up. <laughs> Um, the first thing I do on my morning is always click on YouTube, click I mean, I didn't talk properly there, and just check how many subs I'm at, because I love to see where that's grown to each morning, and here is my video that's going live tonight too. So the first step in my morning routine is actually to get dressed, so I've got all my clothes here which I put out the night before, so I'm going to go and pop them on now. I'm not actually one to have a shower in the morning, I know you probably think, oh that's gross, but... I have it the night before, I don't really have time in the morning, I'd rather have the extra time in bed and I like to moisturise a lot the night before and then just kind of leave it on throughout the day because my skin's super dry. So I'm going to pop my clothes on now, honestly sorting them out the night before is so handy when you've got work, like please try it if you haven't already because you'll thank me later. So here's my outfit for today, I've gone for a black roll neck and then a black slinky skirt, black tights. I'll show you my shoes and handbag later once we've got to that stage. Next I'm popping these curlers on. Because I actually fancy curling my hair today, I mean nine out of ten times I actually just put my hair up in a bun for work because I literally get ready in about 20 minutes maximum but today I'm feeling like curling my hair because I may go and do a vlog video at the range if I have the energy after work so I thought if I curl my hair I'm a bit more presentable and I might feel more inclined to do so. So my hair's all done now you can't really tell at the moment you'll see properly when the windows are open and it's a bit brighter in here but yeah I'm about to do my makeup now. My makeup's sort of like the quickest thing I do in the morning it takes me about five minutes. I sound horrible by the way everyone I feel like I'm getting a cold so I feel really bunged up and my voice is a bit croaky from where I'm like half asleep but yeah I'll have to do my makeup now and I'll be back. So here's today's outfit you already know about this and this this is from Pretty Little Things and then the top is from La Sula Boutique it's a bodysuit so we have a black handbag from Abbott Leon with HMW here it is properly this is my personalized bag and then I have my Abbott Leon watch too which I love, I'm obsessed with that. And then I also have on my, if it wants zoom, zoom if it wants to focus, my Dorothy Perkins shoes, which I love. And I think these are about seven or eight pounds in the sale recently. So love those. Gonna stock up on a few more pairs, I think. And then here's my makeup to show you. So I've gone for a really plain look. So for work, I typically just wear foundation. I put a matte lip cream on, a bit of mascara, fill in my brows and a little bit of bronzer and a tad of highlight. So that's pretty much what I do. It's really, really quick and easy and it kind of looks put together, but it doesn't take long, doesn't require being caked in makeup, and yeah, that is what my makeup's like today, and every day at work. <laughs> there comes a time in life for me personally where you think, do I make my bed or do I make my smoothie? I've got five minutes to go, what's more important to me? Well, the smoothie certainly is, so let's go make that smoothie. It's 7.46, my darling, so we haven't got long to go. So for say smoothie, I've gone for coconut water, raspberries, blueberries, a little bit of honey, and then, yeah, coconut water. <laughs> it's gonna blend that up now. So I'm taking that to work with me, then I've also got my food prepped lunch, which is Mexican rice and some marinated chicken, which I made at the weekend. And we're almost ready to go. I almost forgot perfume, so today I'm going to be wearing Just by Robert Cavalli, I think that's how you say it. I really, really like this, can't really explain the scent, it's quite spicy. I just think it's really nice, so let's spray that on our body. What is it with this camera today and not wanting to focus? Hmm. Also, I thought I'd really quickly just show you. My mum's made me these little pots of goji berries to have in the morning. So I'm going to be having these. There's so many health benefits. So um, I might actually do a video at some point on random foods with health benefits. But this is one of them. I mean, I need to educate myself a bit better and test it out first. Yeah, I'm going to be having these in the morning too with my smoothie. So it's time to lock up and leave my lovely apartment. <laughs> Is that mud there? Well, it's mud hazel, but why is this here? It should be cleaned. <laughs> Doesn't look very nice, does it? And we have ice on the car yet again. Fabulous. I'm gonna scrape this now. 
funny story. So the other day, I basically was shutting my boot, shut it so hard that I hit my head with it because my head was in the way and nearly knocked myself out. It really hurt. I got a lump on my head and everything after doing it. And yeah, I dropped my phone and smashed it. So that's why my phone is smashed. Fabulous, I know. Such a clumsy idiot. I harm myself. <laughs> anyway, it's time to leave now. So we're approaching 8 a.m. in the morning. I start work at half eight and I've got to hit the A12. Not, is it the motorway? Kind of the motorway, not really. Like a dual carriageway, if you like. So we're gonna hit that now and get to work. I won't show you obviously at work because that's totally inappropriate and not allowed. Um, my working hours are half eight till half four. So I will see you around half four when I finish work. everyone so it's five o'clock i've just finished work well i finished at half four and then i've come to the range i did decide in the end that i would vlog today i've got chewing gum in by the way so it's about that sorry if it's a bit rude yeah it's five o'clock because the traffic was absolutely horrific getting from work to here so i'm at the range now so i'm going to do a separate vlog for that so i'm not going to share with you what's inside sorry i have to wait for the other video just to see you know what i buy and what's in store today i haven't been to the range for about maybe a month or two now so hopefully they'll have some new bits and pieces in especially now we're approaching springtime my day was quite good i had a meeting so i was out of the office for a little bit of time and it flew really really quickly i just can't believe how quickly the day went by really so yeah i'm gonna go and do some shopping and i'll check in with you once i am done so everyone i've just got back from shopping and needless to say i got quite a lot have a look <laughs> oh my god can you see all that blush pink pink goodness oh my god and rose gold I'm not going to show you too much because I can't wait to show you in a separate haul video. But oh my god, I'm so excited to share this with you because I've got some really gorgeous things. You can just tell from them tones that you know it's got hazel written all over it, hasn't it? So yes. I'm not sure what to do with myself now. I kind of want to go to Matalan to have a look in there because I've not been there since before Christmas. However, I really can't go and spend more money because I've just spent more money that I shouldn't have spent in the first place. It's meant to be good this month. Yeah, if I go in there, I'll probably spend more, but then I kind of want to show you guys what's in store, so I don't know. I'm going to have a look at my maps and see how far away it is from here and see what the traffic's saying, and then I'll make a decision based on that, and then we'll decide what to do. <laughs> Quick update, I decided to go to Massalan. We're here. Can you see that in the background? Somewhere over there. You can't really see. Yes. We're at a really, really big Massalan home store. It's also in Colchester. If you want to have a massive, massive, massive Massalan home, Massalan, what? Yes, Matalan home, then go to Colchester store because you'll be amazed. But again, separate video for you, so I'm not going to show you any teasers. So it's about that. <laughs> so I've just finished it in Matalan home, and I'm now going to head over to Powerland to have a look in there too because it's opposite, just over there. I normally would drive, but I thought, you know what? It's not actually that cold, and I need to stop being so lazy. So I thought I'd walk over here, get a little bit of a walk on. Not that it's that far. I'm not sure if I'll be able to film them or not because they got really funny last time. So I'll have to see, but you might get a Powerland vlog coming very soon to you too. So let's go into the world of Poundland and see what they have today. Let's see what they're saying. Is it open? I feel like it's not open. Oh no, it's closed. So it turns out the Poundland is actually shut. So we're not going to Poundland. I just walked up there, started doing my vlog, and obviously it was shut. And then someone was watching me, and I felt like I'm such an idiot. I shouldn't care what people think, but I do. Plus, there's someone driving past me now, and they're now looking at me because I'm vlogging. Hence why I moved the camera, because I can't get over it. This vlogging like in public is hard work everyone, it's hard hard work, I don't actually enjoy it, it's scary. No that's not true, I do enjoy it but I just wish I didn't care so much of the public, you know. So I've just walked through the door and it is now at 10 to 7. I have also got all this post, so probably like bills and stuff, so I'm just going to have a look through it now, obviously I'm not going to do it on camera, data protection and all that, GDPR, get to know if you don't know, <laughs> and I'm not sure what to have for dinner either but gonna open this now and I'll check in with you very shortly so that's all the posts opened it took me a few minutes it was nothing scary it was just um, bank statement mortgage statement um, paperwork from the solicitor about my registration of my property on the land registry I think something like that I don't know was it 
think so. Something about lease and land registry, I don't even know. I'm really excited by what I got in the range and everything. Look at all this stuff. So this is literally where I keep all my to film stuff. So this is what the behind the scenes really looks like. So that's going to be one haul. This is another home bargains haul. This is obviously part of that. Well, not that you know, but I got this in the range. Oh my God, look, I love it. It was only six pounds. And then these are products I've been sent by brands, which I need to try out. This one has loads of products in it, like so. So these are basically ones to try out and do like little mini reviews on my Instagram story in exchange for the gifts. So thank you very much for sending me those and items. And then over here we have my filming equipment and we have stuff on the floor because I was tidying last night and I forgot. Well, that's actually, no, say it back. I didn't forget, I just didn't bother finishing the job. We've got a bin bag here from my cleaning last night where I was putting rubbish in here. I've got my washing up to do because this girl was lazy and she's got all her lunches at work, which are building up. And last night's food and water in there to let that soak and some disgusting bits and pieces. See, you're seeing the true hazel now, like, I'm not always glamorous and doing everything right. I'm messy too, you know, it's life. Not to mention, I didn't make my bed this morning, if we remember from this morning. I have still got all the stuff down there, so, you know, don't have the time to see everything in one day. One step at a time. I think this evening I'm probably going to, well, I'm definitely going to eat. Maybe do a tad more cleaning and I might try and edit, like, one or two videos this evening. My, um come shop with me so they're done and ready to be uploaded when I'm ready to upload them and then I've got some more obviously videos to film but I might leave them till this weekend I'm not sure I might do them after work tomorrow I'm not sure because sometimes I just think oh I don't want to film at the weekend because the weekend's my time and I don't actually ever have a day off I always work all week like Monday to Friday and then obviously edit throughout the week and then I film at the weekend too so I never really have a day of doing just doing nothing not that I'm complaining I love doing it but I think maybe for my own sake I should maybe film my whole videos tomorrow evening so that I can actually have a weekend off so that's something to consider um but yeah I don't know what to have for dinner tonight I have no clue I really don't but Part of the reason why I wanted to do this, one is obviously everyone asked me, not everyone, but a lot of people asked me on YouTube to film a day in the life, like a real day in the life of what I actually get up to. So of course I did it for you guys because you wanted it. But secondly, I wanted to show you that if you work full time, you can still totally do YouTube. There's a lot of people out there who think you have to commit to YouTube full time or, you know, it takes loads of time. But don't get me wrong, it does take time and commitment. But once you get into the swing of things, once you understand how to edit and all of that jazz, You'll get quicker at it and quicker at it over time and more efficient and I can work full time and still do YouTube and still upload, you know, four videos a week. So if I can do it, you can too with candle. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that if you want to do YouTube and you haven't started a channel yet because you think you won't have the time, I think you'll have the time. So just consider that. So when I'm feeling like super, super, super lazy and I don't want to cook anything at all, I have emergency food in this cupboard. By the way, this is all my like, this is my kind of sweet-ish stuff down here and drinks. And we've got like sauces, too much sauce, too much juice. And then we've got, um, my emergency emergency so this is my real emergency if i don't want anything healthy and i want something quick that's still quite low calorie so it's um indomie or indomie instant noodles chicken flavor <laughs> i do really like them not like they're really spicy and delicious i might actually have them tonight i wish i had more muscle food in the freezer because i could have just had that if you saw my recent food what i eat in a week vlog but i don't have any left so i cannot have that oh satay chicken i need to cook with that soon i can't wait love me some satay chicken but yeah i think i'm just gonna have this for dinner tonight i know that's bad it's not i know i normally promote healthiest food but it doesn't matter, like it's about a balance, so it's okay to have stuff like that once in a while. It ain't gonna kill ya, you know? So, um, unless you're allergic first. <laughs> Any, not this funny if you're allergic. Oh, whatever, I'm, I'm just digging myself a hole. This is what happens when I'm tired. And this is just Hazel in general, she digs holes. But yeah, I'm going to make that. Why am I spinning around? I don't know. I think I'm getting a bit weird because I'm tired. I might have a bath tonight as well. I quite fancy a bath. I quite fancy just relaxing, you know? Having a bit of a chillax evening. Not I'm going to have one because it's too late for that. Like, if I get in from work at five, you know, finish at half or get back here for five, I'll have so much time left. Like, it's amazing. But, you know, if I'm getting back this late, then the evening's, like, half gone by the time I get home because I want to get in bed by about 11 at the very latest. So, let's... I guess that's still four hours. See, this is the thought process I go through. I'm always like thinking, oh, you can do that. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, you can. <laughs> like, I'm just a bit strange. 
so I'm just waiting for my noodles to cook and I've just in <laughs> I can't even talk I've just imported a load of videos to my laptop to start editing so this is what it actually looks like when I import my videos so, so when I do a come shop with me I do loads and loads and loads of little mini videos as you can see because I often like put my camera away because I don't want people in the shop watching and stuff so that's what I've got to work with tonight then I wanted to show you as well what it actually looks like when I edit a video too just because I thought some of you might be interested so this is a cooking video that I've done for you guys and it's 17 minutes long but can you see how many little mini clips there are like that's where I have to like crop bits out and edit and this goes on for ages like this video probably took me about two hours to edit because there's a lot to it um but this is a cooking video so yeah i can't wait for you to see this one it's just like a bolognese and chili i think it is so yeah so there's a quite a lot going on really and this one had loads of videos too but i thought you'd just be interested to know like kind of the behind the scenes really of as to editing videos and that there's a lot to it but it's still all right once you get your head around it. And then this is what it actually looks like when I upload a video too. So this is my video manager on YouTube and I have all my videos. And it tells me how many views they've had, how many likes, dislikes, boo, comments, etc. And then it has scheduled videos too. So these are videos I've already edited and uploaded ready for you guys. So I've got to get rid of your makeup video buying a property video. I've got a home bargains haul somewhere down here, which I filmed a while ago. Like as you can see, I film in advance a lot of the time and then I kind of just leave it on here then I put dates as to when I think I'm going to upload it but that date can change depending on other content I have so sometimes I change the date around push it back or bring it forward etc just depending on when I want to fit them in because I don't like having the same sort of videos one after the other so say I do a fashion video my next video wants to be different not another fashion video so that's what I do and another thing I spend every evening doing as well, so I go to, the, go to the community tab on my YouTube and then I have all these comments down here and I, as you can see I have just literally replied but I go through every single comment and read them and love heart them or reply or anything like that. So I love to reply to your comments and everything. So yeah, that's what I do of an evening and sometimes you get the odd held for review or likely spam. I'll show you some of the held for review comments actually. Look, ugly, what a load of bleep. So yeah, you get random stuff like that, or there's another one here. Why does it seem like all girls copy each other, blah, blah, blah. Or another one, why don't you buy a pack of bacon and sponge and you're healthy eating so boring, blah, blah, blah. Boring, bye. That's why you're not being posted on my page. <laughs> So here are the noodles, disgusting looking I know. And by the way, no, I don't eat like this every day. You guys know I eat healthy like 99% of the time, but tonight I just fancied something a bit bad and it just so happens to be the night I'm bloody filming my video for you doesn't it so now I look like a secret junk food eater but I'm not I normally have really healthy dinners like tuna jacket potato salad etc but tonight I just wanted a one food dinner okay don't hate me for it plus I'm uploading a video now before I edit the next one because I need to make some room on this laptop so I'm going to do that Hey again everyone, so a few hours has passed since I last filmed, I've had a bath, I had a bath for about, <laughs> I'm going to say nearly an hour, and what I did is I got oats and I put them into a pair of old tights and just let the oats basically soak into the water because my skin is terrible, I don't know if you can tell, I've got loads of eczema everywhere, my skin is just massively flared up and it's really really uncomfortable, itchy, keep me awake at night and just, it's horrible, so I've done that and then I also have applied some of this is dream cream hand and body lotion so um someone recommended me to try this out from lush so i gave it a try and it's basically i believe it's oats and lavender and a couple of and a couple of other products and oh my god my body feels so nice now like i feel just so refreshed and relieved and just non-itchy and it's just such a nice feeling it sounds gross but if you have eczema or skin problems you know what i mean I'm honestly covered at the moment in a rash, like it's, it's not even a joke, it's unbearable. So I'm really hoping that that just settles it and lets me have a good night's sleep. Also, just before I check out, just want to say I've had some Bay or BAI antioxidant infusion coconut because I love this. You've probably seen me talk about this before in vlogs, if you've watched my vlogs. And yeah, I just love this so much. It's five calories for the thing and it's just delicious. It's coconut watery deliciousness. And yeah, anyway, I'm going to check out now because it's getting on a bit. I think it's about 10 o'clock. I'm getting pretty tired and I want to try and have an early night. So I really hope that you enjoyed this day in the life. This is a real day for me. It's been a working day. It's been a long old day. I'm sleepy and yeah, I just want to get some rest now and then repeat all again for the next couple of days till the weekend. So I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. If you'd like to see any more of these, then do let me know. And until then, see you later, everyone.